and welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video, so I thought it really important to get a new video in uh, just to keep you updated with what's happening here at Regimentals. We are entering a new lockdown uh, in the UK and Regimentals will carry on working. Um, as many of you know, we're a family run business where everybody here uh, is in the same bubble. So um, it's, it's quite a safe place to work. So we'll just keep keep going. The only thing that we'll be changing here is possibly the, the collection days for our UPS parcels. Um, so posting might become a bit slower. Anyway, the reason for the video really is because I'm updating today. It's Friday, as you know, always update on a Friday. And I have got a really fantastic uh, German World War II General's Tunic, which I really wanted to feature in this video. Um, very unusual to get a named, identified item from World War I or World War II. I always say to people, don't believe the stories you see. Most of the stuff, um, you can't trace where it came from. But this is one of these rare occasions where um, I know exactly who owned this tunic and I actually have a picture of him wearing it. So this is the tunic here. It's a fantastic German... Uh, World War II General's Tunic um, and it was um, worn by a General um, uh, Von Tatau his name was and he was uh, one of the generals uh, important at Arnhem he's in charge of the defences when the uh, British first landed um, in Arnhem he won the Knight's Cross um, and later in the war he won the Oak Leaves as well uh, the tunic is named, uh, it has his name tag on the inside pocket there is lots and lots of loops on the uh, on the tunic for all of his awards. He won many awards uh, fighting in the East uh, and in Romania. Um, lovely wear on the on the tunic and especially on the eagle. It gives you a sense that you can see that this is untouched and this has always been on there. It's not, it's not, um, no one can question whether any of this insignia has been replaced by the way it's constructed. Um, it's the early uh, uh, General's tunic, Reichwehr style with the slanted pockets, slanted lower pockets. And it's just so nice to find something um, battle worn that's been there and used and as you can see in the picture you can identify that it is the same tunic that he's wearing in the picture. This will be going on the website today for £7,250 and it's a superb thing. So watch out for that, um, I'm sure it won't last too long for sale. So another special item I wanted to feature in the video is this extremely rare First World War British tankers helmet. It's the first one I've had in a number of years. The last one sold for a very good price. Um, this one, yep, it's, it's, it's a little bit more money, but that's the way it is with, with all collectibles. Um, you can't replace what you had. And, and when you sell something, you always regret selling it because they're so hard to find. These are superb looking iconic things and they were worn uh, by the British tankers in World War One, and they often wore the, the, um, the, the goggles, the visored goggles with the chain mail on it as well. Um, to the front you see classic pictures of them being worn together really nice interesting construction you know kind of like almost like medieval looking in, in, in its style um, a very interesting le constructed in leather as well with these really interesting rivets on here it's, it's a, what we call a one looker a fantastic looking thing and it would be a brilliant item a centerpiece in any first world war british collection so they're the two special things in, in this week's update um, just uh, mentioned in dispatches as well is this lovely 17th Lancers Officers uh, Lance Cap. That's going to be on there too. A really striking looking thing if you want something a, a, a little bit more flashy looking. And then um, a few other pieces. Um, this beautiful um, SS Panzer M43 cap. Now the reason I've got these two here is just to show you the difference in configuration of insignia between what is considered the, the standard uh, Panzer M43 caps to the more desirable type being the two-piece construction. As you see on this one here, it has the one-piece trapezoid insignia of the, of the eagle with the skull below it with the buttons at the front. Whereas this version here has the separate SS skull and the uh, eagle on the side here. This is a much more popular combination. Then often you do uh, sometimes see the eagle, the large eagle and skull as well to the front. Uh, but they are extremely rare to, to find those. But that's going to be a lovely piece on the website there. I think that's going to be £3,250. Um, a beautiful uh, auxiliary cruiser badge, very nice condition here. 
really nice. I love these badges. This is one of my favourite navy badges, but the, the gilt on it is absolutely stunning. Really nice piece. And also SS daggers, always popular with collectors, um, hard to get. Um, I've, it's been a long time since I've had many nice um, man's SS daggers. This is an officer's one with a chain. You know, a nice honest dagger yeah, is going on the website for £3,950. And then there is the man's one too without the chain. And that is going to be, I think, 2350 But they're beautiful things. You'll see them on the website. We're going live shortly. Um, so by the time this video is live up on YouTube, you will be able to go straight onto our website and see these items and their full descriptions because the, the general's tunic is certainly worth reading. Um, regarding the website, many of you will have noticed we have had issues with PayPal recently. They seem to think that if you collect anything to do with the war, military history, then you're obviously some kind of lunatic. Um, because PayPal are giving us problems with accepting money through our website because of the nature of the items we sell. Um, we urge most of you to try and avoid using PayPal if you can because of that. Um, and um, we are give instructions uh, when you place an order, you will receive an email virtually straight away with full instructions on how you can pay. Now, you can still buy, pay by credit card. You can call us, email us um, with your card details. You can uh, pay by bank transfer. All of our bank details are given to you at the time of you placing that order. Um, or you still can use PayPal if you insist on it, but we do have to give you an alternative PayPal address for you to pay directly to us rather than through um, uh, the, the website. So when you place your order, we receive that and we know your details, we know what item you, you are ordering, uh, but no payment has been taken off your card at that point because we have to take it manually. So uh, bear with us while we sort out that, that problem with the website. We do intend to find a different card merchant so we can still take cards through the website, um, but um, that will be in due course. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoy lockdown if you're in the UK. Try and keep your spirits up. We're always here. If you want to chat on the phone, give us a call. Um, we'll try and respond to as many of your emails as possible, and we will look forward to seeing you on our next video.